want to know what it is. Information. Remember. Information. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. I am not a number. I am a free man. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to join me on my channel, 90 Fiance Things. How are you doing? How are you keeping? Hope everybody's safe and sound where you are. Firstly, Happy New Year. And uh, I hope it's better than the last. Hmm. It can't get any worse, could it? On this video, we're going to be looking at some stories that I've come across, some of which you may have seen before. First one on the screen is from CNN Travel. Giant kites could pull cargo ships across the ocean and slash their carbon emissions. Apparently, this is a five-minute read, and it was published June the 30th, 2023. What a lovely picture. And this really does make me laugh. You may have seen kite servers in the action harnessing the power of the wind to pull them across the sea. Read the words on the page, Nige. Now imagine the same concept applied to a thousand square metre kite flying 300 metres above the water, only instead of towing a surfer across the waves, it's helping to propel a colossal cargo ship across the ocean. That's the basic idea behind Sea Wing, a technology being developed by a French company, Air Seas, which it says could help cargo ships reduce their fuel consumption and cut their carbon emissions by an average of 20%. Two engineers at a French aerospace company, Airbus, came up with the idea in 2016. Well, for me, that idea has been about for a long, long time, since the day dot. In the old days, they used to put sails on ships and call them sailing ships. Here's a video of their idea, but tying a kite to the front of a ship and calling it a new invention is just like me tying a horse to the front of my car and calling it a new form of transport. But saying that, I'm quite happy because I'm getting about 15 miles to a bale of hay. I'll leave the links to everything I'm talking about in the description box down below. Nice and simple for everybody to find. A gimmick, yeah, that's exactly what we're just looking at, a gimmick that people are buying into because of global climate change. Something that is definitely real 100%, but for the reasons we're being told, oh, that's a different matter. People are just living in a lie. What do I know? Now, here's a story I come across that I find very interesting indeed. Ice volcano on the Devil Comet set to erupt near Earth. Astronomers urge amateurs to monitor the sky this weekend. A story from four days ago. Astronomers believe a massive comet headed towards Earth is set to explode within a window of time this weekend, starting Friday, December the 29th. Uh, I think that's a little bit over the top. Explode. It's going to explode. Everybody run. The Horned Devil Comet, larger than Mount Everest, erupts regularly and knews.com has learnt that experts may have identified its unique celestial cycle. Let's have a look at a picture, which just happens to be a drawing. But looking around the internet, I've managed to find this from the Daily Star. How ironic. Devil Comet soaring towards Earth is set to blow in gas and ice explosion within hours. And this is the picture of so said object which I find quite interesting it reminds me of something else that I've seen and yeah it is definitely a winged object let's go back to this story let's have a look at this and let's go down to see what they've got to say the cosmic object officially named Comet 12P Ponds Brooks periodically spews geysers of ice and gas out of its volcano-like horns. These ice volcanoes erupted at half a dozen times in 2023, revealing a pattern that may help astronomers predict its future explosions. They love the word explosions. It's a volcanic eruption. The last few outbursts have been on a 15-day Candice, and I think that's meant to be cycle. Is that a, a flash name for cycle, Candice? Nick James of the British Astronomical Association, BAA, told spaceweather.com, and we might be coming up to another one. With the most recent eruption taking place around Thursday, December the 14th, experts predict the next one is due either Friday, December the 29th or Saturday, December the 30th. In the UK, 
that uh, wasn't going to happen. If we were looking up at the sky, it was a total whiteout, lots and lots of storms about, and you might have been lucky to see a gap in the clouds, but definitely not, not where I am in the UK. The closest point of this object will be in July, I do believe, next year. At this particular moment in time, it's about 144 million miles away, just next door in um, celestial terms. But comets are a bringer of, or a harbinger of bad omens. And normally when we get to see these in the sky, something bad actually happens. It's like old faithful Richard Moles of the BAA reportedly told the outlet, Comet 12P has a super cryogeyser eruption which is triggered by its local sunrise in its location. Knews.com reported in October that some observers say with the horns the comet looks a bit like the Millennium Falcon, the spaceship from the famous Star Wars movies. The comet is part of the Cygnus constellation that can be pinpointed with Skylive's Celestial Guide, which states, given its current brightness, magnitude 10, 12P Bronze Brooks is visible with the help of a binocular with an 18mm aperture or a small telescope. The object was first discovered in 1812 and its nucleus or chunk of ice and rock has been estimated to span 10.5 miles across. Put that into perspective, Mount Everest stands about 5.5 miles tall, so it's not really a small object. For me there's many questions about this object, one of those being, is this the object that many civilizations in the past have written down and described? As it is a winged object coming through space, is it on a cycle that it's going to interact with our Earth and cause us some problems? For me, the timing of this object is very impeccable. But what past civilizations tend to describe in the sky is red, this just happens to be white. Now, has this any bearing or relation to that object in the past? But as always, it's for you to decide. Interesting enough just to show you. Here's a story from space.com and it looks like they're trying to sell us an Xbox. But this will lead us right into the next story very nicely. I'm just going to gloss over it very, very quickly. 400 Earth-sized rogue planets could be wandering the Milky Way. NASA's forthcoming Nancy Grace Roman Telescope, that's a mouthful, will hunt for cosmic orphans. Starless planets, they might even outnumber their orbiting counterparts in our galaxy. Yet again, a illustration. Why can't I just take a picture of a planet and put it up there? New predictions, that was easy for me to say, suggest an upcoming NASA space telescope could spot over 400 Earth mass worlds hidden throughout our Milky Way. Milky Way? Is that a chocolate bar? Milky Way that has gone rogue and therefore wandering our galaxy alone. Another chocolate bar. Such orphan worlds are thought to start their lives in a planetary system akin to the solar system, but get kicked out at some point by a mechanism thus far unknown. We estimate our galaxy is home to 20 times more rogue planets than stars. Trillions of worlds wandering alone. And there's even more information down below if you want to read it. I'll leave the links to this and everything else I'm talking about in the description box down below. Nice and simple for everybody to find. Here's a story that links in perfectly to the last story from the website Knowledge. It has some great stories on this website. But we're looking at this story. Huge planet spotted above Earth, filmed by an amateur photographer. And here's a picture of this, yeah. The trouble is, the key word here is filmed, and all we've got is some pictures, which I find quite annoying. Our moon is 245,000 miles away, and we've got this object that definitely looks planet-shaped. And we're going to call it a planet for now, but uh, I'm very, very doubtful that what we're looking at is... While shooting the moon near Budapest, Hungarian amateur photographer Ivan Eder obtained the image of what appears to be a planet. An unusual planet emerges against the backdrop of the moon. 
in the image indicating that it's incredibly close to our planet either looked at the image for a long time but couldn't come up with a reasonable explanation for it when either posted the photograph on the internet conspiracy theorists quickly linked the planet to the mythical Nubiru well I can guarantee you what we're looking at is not Nubiru and is that very close to the earth because if it was I would expect to see a little bit of interaction between that object and our earth don't forget our atmosphere acts like a telescope and drags stuff in could that be the other side of the moon if that's so this object is absolutely humongous it does look very planet shaped that's for sure but a little while back I made a video of a video from Watchwoman of the Dragon and in that video I was showing the lenses in the sky and here is well what appears to be a planet shaped object but what we're looking at is a lens in the sky I'll leave the links yet again down below if you haven't seen it I would recommend it but that actually reminds me of this object here don't forget we're looking at a picture that picture is just one moment in time I wasn't there to see it and things can change on the camera if it was a video we would get to see a little bit more and we have a, a better idea of what was going on but we've got a capture of this object it's very very possible it's a lens in the sky hiding the objects that are in the sky so we don't get to see anything at all a very complex system of lenses and I've shown this many many times Many people out there have got great videos of objects that are in the sky that really defy explanation, pictures and videos. But uh, yeah, others claim there was a void in space and that the planet seen in the photograph was simply a distorted moon. And there's another picture. There seems to be a lot more definition to this just here. But yet again, it was filmed and all we've got is pictures it may possibly be a cloud according to some but we can see that it has a flawless form either claims that he didn't notice anything weird throughout the shoot and isn't sure what he filmed is a camera malfunction or anything real so in conclusion what are we looking at are we looking at a planet no i don't believe so because the interaction between that object that seems extremely big would be quite substantial between the earth and that object i think we'll know about it is it lens flare no because a lens flare normally flips 180 degrees in the opposite direction and that's not what is happening here so what are we looking at like i said before we're looking at a projected image of a lens back onto the camera and that's what we're picking up of course that can be possible because there's no technology in our skies in whatsoever anyway we're 13 minutes into the video and if you've made it this far thank you very much if you're not subscribed you've enjoyed my work please hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button and if you're not subscribed or gone over to see watch women of the dragon I'll leave the links to her channel in the description box down below nice and simple for everybody to find 
much love, much peace, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.